สาธุการพระบิดาพระเจ้าข้าพระผู้หลาย Praise to you God ในวันนี้เรามาร่วมกันระลึกถึงการเสด็จมาบังเกิดของพระเยซูคริสต์ Today we come together to remember your birth เรารู้ว่าได้เป็นของขวัญที่ยิ่งใหญ่ของพระองค์ทรงประทานกับมนุษยชาติ We know that this is the greatest gift that you have bestowed on mankind แต่มนุษย์จำนวนมากมายยังไม่รู้ความจริง But yet many of us wish to not know this truth แม้เวลาจะผ่านไปถึง 2,000 ปี Even though the time has passed for over 2,000 years ก็ช่วยบรรคาทุกหลายผู้ซึ่งเป็นลูกของพระองค์จะสมดุลชีวิตของตนเองในวันนี้ Please help us Lord those of us that are your children help us to examine our lives เราได้มีส่วนในการประกาศข่าวดีๆมากน้อยแค่ไหน To examine how much we take part in proclaiming this good news to the world เราเก็บข่าวดีๆไว้สำหรับตนเองและครอบครัวทั้งนั้น Or are we keeping this good news to ourselves and our family เราขอบคุณพระร่วมกันในนามพระเยซูเจ้า We thank you together in the name of Jesus Amen ผมไม่ทราบนะครับเราใช้เวลาเลือกของขวัญคริสต์มาสมานมากน้อยถึงไร I do not know how much time you actually spent in selecting your Christmas gifts แล้วในของพระสุมาที่เราเสียเวลาเลือกนะครับเป็นคนที่ได้รับไม่ชอบ And we know that a lot of time the gifts that we actually took the time to select yet the recipients were not quite happy with them เราไปดูทุกรายนะครับหลังคริสต์มาสมีคนเข้าแถวคืนของนะ We can see this if you were to go and look at the, you know, the department store. After Christmas, they were like long queue waiting to return the gifts. Ah, lai ko ba wala ka suk, chan ti da hai, chan ti da hai ni si ti dan chop, ni kon lap man da chop, ni chop le ko man. But many of us would say, well, I love giving, therefore I shall give what I want to give. I don't really mind what the recipients feel. ถ้าเราคิดอย่างนั้นมันก็ถูกส่วนหนึ่งนะแต่ผมคิดว่าถ้าคนที่รับชอบตัวยินดีอย่างใช่ไหมครับ Well, if we think of it that way, you are partially correct, but better yet, if the recipients also delight in our gifts. ผมใช้เวลาเรียนบทเรียนนี้หลายปีนะครับกว่าจะได้ของมาที่ลูกหลานชอบ It took me many years to learn this, you know, in order for me to give gifts that my grandchildren or my children like. ผมคิดว่าเราหลายคนยังไม่ได้เรียน And I believe many of us still have not learned this lesson yet. ผมอยากเรามาถึงคริสต์มาสนะครับคริสต์มาสมีความหมายยังไงสำหรับเราบ้าง I want to bring us to Christmas. What does Christmas really mean to you? เราทราบนะคนฉลองคริสต์มาสทั่วโลก We know that all over the world, everyone is celebrating Christmas. แล้วที่สำคัญก็คือเขาไม่รู้ว่าคริสต์มาสคืออะไรจริงๆ Actually, many of them do not really know what Christmas really means. ผมต้องมาในประเทศไทยนะซึ่งคนไทย9 0ประเภท9 9 9 9ประเภทมาจากคริสเตียนนะแต่เกือบทุกคนเพื่อนผมฉลองคริสต์มาส I grew up in Thailand, and then in Thailand, 99.99 percent of the populations there are not believers, but yet majority of them celebrate Christmas. ผมทราบไหมครับตอบแรกจะถามว่าคริสต์มาสคืออะไรคนส่วนมากเพื่อนผมจะตอบว่าอะไร Don't you know that if you pose this question, what does Christmas mean to you? A lot of them will reply this. One girl said the class. It is at the class birthday. Why? That's because everywhere that they go to celebrate Christmas, you will see Santa Claus there as well. I think that Christmas is a jack. The Lord is so high, but there will be Santa Claus in the tent. And therefore, I concluded that Christmas is being hijacked because Christ is not there, but replaced with Santa Claus. How many of us get? We are going to give our children a little bit. We are going to ask them who it is. We are going to ask them who it is. We are going to ask them who it is. We are going to ask them who it is. We are going to ask them who it is. We are going to ask them who it is. We are going to ask them who it is. We are going to ask them who it is. Well, it's that child. He's running around. I don't know where he is or where she is. I'm kind of don't care. Me party, I'm not so excited. I'm not that 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 excited. I
ภาษาไทยก็มีสรุปมาสู่สองพันปีที่แล้วนะครับแต่มีคนแค่ไม่กี่คนนะครับที่เป็นพยานในการประสูติพระองค์เขาเล็กแก่ไม่กี่คน We knew that Jesus was born over 2,000 years ago, and yet there were very few people that witnessed his birth, and these were the few shepherds that went out there in the fields. คนทั่วเยรูซาเล็มและคนอิสราเอลที่รอพระเจ้าพระมาสิฮาอยู่นานแสนนานไม่สนใจในการประสูติพระเยซู There were thousands and thousands of people that were in Jerusalem that were waiting for this Messiah, but yet when he comes, nobody really cares or pay attention. It is very strange that these people were waiting for this Messiah, but yet when he comes, they didn't realize. What? What did they want? เราทราบไหมครับเมื่อพระเยซูมาสู่สองพันปีที่แล้วและอิสราเอลอยู่ในสภาพซึ่งกำลังทุกทรมานเหมือนเราทุกโลกเวลานี้ Don't you know that 2,000 years ago, at the time of Christ's birth? Israel was in a gloomy day, just like us now. The economy was really bad, and people were suffering. The government was in trouble because at that time they were being conquered by the Roman Empire. ผู้นำศาสนานะครับสนใจแต่ทฤษฎีสนใจแต่คำสอนเราไม่สนใจนะประชาชนเข้าใจเดือดร้อนอย่างไรครับผู้นำไม่สนใจ The religious leaders at the top all they care is the philosophy of the law they didn't really care about the suffering of the people ประชาชนทั่วไปนะครับรอความช่วยเหลือจากพระเจ้า The citizen in general they were waiting for Christ I mean they were waiting for God to help them ถามคำถามนี้เสมอนะครับถ้าเรามียาวิเศษรักษามะเร็งได้ I ask you this question that if you have special medication that can cure cancer แต่เราไม่บอกใคร But yet you hold on to the secret และเราเห็นคนเป็นมะเร็งตายรอบตัวเรา And you see people who are dying from cancer around you เราคิดว่าเราทำถูกไหม Do you think that what you were or what you are doing is right? ผมไม่ได้พูดนะครับว่าเราต้องการขายยาสูตรพิเศษของเราแต่เราเห็นคนตายรอบข้างเราเนี่ยเมื่อเรารู้ว่าเราช่วยเขาได้แต่เราไม่ทำ I am not advertising that we profit from our special medication, but the question here is, if you witness people dying around you and you are not doing anything, นั่นคือสิ่งที่คริสเตียนทำในทุกวันนี้ We know that mankind are dying around us because we don't know this good news, but yet we are not doing much. One day when we see Christ, how shall you reply to him? Jesus asked his friends at the house. Have you ever heard of the story of the lost sheep? Have you ever heard of the story of the lost sheep? Jesus Christ will ask you this. Your neighbors around you are dying. Have you ever talked to them about God? Why? And then you have to know from them. Most than yet, your relatives. We might give excuses like they don't listen to me. But yet, that is not our business whether they listen to us or not. Our sole responsibility is to tell them. Our job is to tell them that God loves them and that God comes to help them. Human beings, we have just so many problems, but the Bible says Christ is the answer. Only Jesus Christ can help them. And we know that Jesus is the answer for mankind, but why are we not doing our job? Forty plus years ago, when I came to study in the U.S., God called me to be a pastor. I see no way. I am a Christian who is good. 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 I am a Christian who is
Christian, I go to church three times a day and I do whatever that I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Three times a week. <laughs> I was a deacon, I was a leader, I have done everything. God, that is enough. But God said, no, that is not enough. I require, I demand you to be, do much more than that. That was my reason. To bargain or negotiate with God. But when God calls us, you have no excuse and you cannot debate with Him. I don't know if you have any experience in God, but you can debate with Him. I don't know if you have any experience in God, but you can debate with Him. I don't know if you have any experience in God, but you can debate with Him. I don't know if you have any experience in God, but you can debate with Him. Finally, I told God, "Okay, Lord, I give up." When I come back to California, come back to California, and I got, I got to tell you, if you will accept the Lord, come back to Thailand. Thailand is a thousand dollars for you. So when I came to the, uh, came to California to start the ministry, many people would say, "If you were to serve God, you have to go back to Thailand. There are thirty million people there waiting for you." ในแบรนด์เรียนี่มีคนไทยไม่เกินหมื่นคนนะครับคนลาวอีกประมาณที่ไม่เกินสองหมื่นคนมันเหมือนบ่อน้ำเล็กๆเมืองไทยมันทะเลนะครับ In the Bay Area at the time we might have maybe one ten thousand Thai people and maybe twenty thousand Laotian people so it's just like a small well. ผมว่าที่ฐานนะแต่ก็พระเจ้าเป็นการทำอะไร So I finally pray and ask Lord what do you really want me to do? พระเจ้าบอกที่นี่ God say, here. What are you doing? I ask myself, what will I do? I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't have any relatives here. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. I don't know who is in the Bay Area. And my friend say, why don't you go to a Chinese church? There are two ladies, one and older ladies, one from Laos and one from Thailand. And that's where Thai Lao Church started. I do not really know what your calling is, but I know that I am called to help all of us here. So I go to the apartment, and all the people who are in the apartment, all the people who are in Thai Lao. I went to do door knocking in Tenderloin, that where there are Laotian and Thai people. I'm kind of by from Bosca, Tawasap, Tukwiti. I write letters, send postcards, or even make phone calls. You made a course announcement in Thailand. I even put on advertisement on the newspapers. I'm a little bit of a guy who chewy, hold on. Because I know so well that God wants me to help these people. If you were to ask me, did anyone promise to help you? There was none. Only God. That was how our ministry started 40 plus years ago. For my first six months of serving, there was no salary. Six months passed, the church gave me sixty, I mean fifty dollars per month. So what kind of money? That was for my studies. No, bus ticket. Oh, it was for my bus fare. Oh, my dear, this is a day when I can't be cool. What I can't do. I do not, I am not mentioning these things so that I can be boastful. But I want you to see that if God put that conviction in your heart, you cannot have the peace. We know that we have this wonderful God who can help and our job is to tell them. 
เราลงว่าเขากำลังลงไปทุกวันนะครับเพราะว่าไม่มีพระเจ้า We know that they are dying every day and they do not know God. คนไทย 99.9999% นะครับซึ่งไม่มีที่พึ่ง The Thai people 99.99% they do not have any hope or anyone to rely on. การไหว้ทุกอย่างนะครับที่เขามองเห็นที่เขากลัว They pretty much worship just anything that they can see because they were doing it out of fear. ถ้าเขารู้ว่ามีพระเจ้าที่รักเขาและช่วยเขาได้จริงๆทำไมเขาจะไม่เอา If they know that this wonderful God can help them, why wouldn't they take it? ปัญหาคือไม่มีใครไปบอก The problem is that no one dares to go and tell them. เราพร้อมไหมครับจะเสียสละเพื่อช่วยคนนี้ Are we ready to sacrifice to help these people? ถามมาแล้วครับวิญญาณมนุษย์มีค่า I asked this question. How much does a soul actually worth? วิญญาณคนไทยมีค่าเท่าไหร่สำหรับท่าน For a Thai soul, how much does it worth to you? วิญญาณของเรามีค่าเท่าไหร่ How much does a Laotian's person's soul worth to you? วิญญาณคนเอเชียถูกกับวิญญาณคนอเมริกันหรือ Are the souls of the Asian people worth less than the people here? เราต้องถามตัวเองไหม We have to ask ourselves that question. Those people actually also need God just like us. We are not called to just The Bible says that Jesus Christ is our hope. He is our counselor, who is there for us because without Him, the world is hopeless. But we see that the religious leaders and the people who are looking after us, they are also benefiting. But the religious leaders that are they were looking after was their own benefits. And when Jesus came, He helped us to help the people. And we see that when Christ came to help the people, and we see that when Christ came to help the people. เราจะเจอปัญหาในเรื่องเหมือนกันนะครับถ้าเราอยากจะให้พระเยซูกับเพื่อนกับญาติพี่น้อง If we want to give Jesus to our those people, we will come to those kind of obstacles as well. ถ้าทุกอย่างง่ายทุกวันนี้คนทั้งโลกไปเสียใจ If everything is so easy, we believe that everyone in the world will become a believer now. แต่ว่าพี่บอกว่าทำสงครามนะครับสงครามกับพี่พิศาจก็จะแย่งตัวมิญญาณมนุษย์กับมาสงครามนะครับ It is a battle that we are fighting และสงครามที่จะช่วยวิญญาณมนุษย์นะครับเราจะต้องลงทุนนะ And this battle in terms of rescuing the soul you must invest มีใครนะครับไปสงครามแล้วบอกว่าโอ้ไปปาร์ตี้ไปกินเลี้ยงกลับมาบ้านมีความสุขสงครามนะครับผมพูดถึงสงคราม Is there anyone that is entering into the battlefield thinking that is a party you go and easily come out and you celebrate? เมื่อเราไปสงครามเรารู้นะครับเราต้องสูญเสียเราต้องบาดเจ็บหรือบางทีเราต้องสูญเสียชีวิต When you engage in a battle, you know that there will be casualty and sometimes we may even lose our lives. เราพร้อมไหมครับที่จะจ่ายราคาเราเอง Are we ready to pay those prices? เพื่อช่วยวิญญาณ It's to help rescue these. Souls. Do you think that those souls are worthwhile for you to sacrifice? If you are able to help a person, how much are you willing to give up for? If you are able to help a person, how much are you willing to give up for? If you are able to help a person, how much are you willing to give up for? Christmas from 2,000 years ago still is standing. The truth is there, but it's up to us how much are we willing to take and you know sacrifice. About a year ago, I said I am ready to give up my life for Jesus. About a year ago, I declared to the congregation that I am ready to retire. I believe that I have put in my years because I've served for 40 years already. แล้วผมมีความคิดนะครับผมจะกลับไปเมืองไทยเพื่อจะรับใช้ตอบแทนบุญคุณประเทศชาตินะครับผมก็คิดว่าเป็นความคิดที่ประเสริฐมาก 
And I thought I had such a great idea that I feel like it's time for me to return to Thailand to you know, pay my due to the Thai people. The people in Thailand they were ready to welcome me back to help them. But yet something is missing in this thought. I lack peace. Every time when I have that feeling, I pray to God, I say, Lord, this is such a great idea. It's perfect timing, but Lord, why am I missing this peace? Last night, Pray and ask God again, Lord, give me this clear mission. What is it that you really, really want me to do? And God revealed to me that going back to Thailand and serve over there is not what I call you to do. God calls me to be in the U.S. And he uses me here. God's job in here is not done for me yet. And I told God, Lord, if that's what you want me to do, I shall obey. I may be able to repay the debt that I owe the Thai people, but maybe through other methods not returning there. I am not very sure what God has for me for the next chapters. But I also want to ask you guys this, that you must also ask yourself, God, is it necessary for us to still have Thailand Church here or in the U.S.? In the U.S., there are churches that are registered with the government by 380,000 churches. And there are many small churches that are not legally registered. Therefore, we can conclude that they are churches by millions. We do not have to come to Thailand Church per se because we can attend churches near our house. But why do you come here? For this past 40 years, why do you drive such a long distance to come to this Thailand church? Do you believe that God still wants us to have this Thailand church? Or is it that we should close the door by tomorrow and then we can attend churches near our neighborhood? We must ask ourselves, if you still want this church, you must be ready to sacrifice. Are you ready? Do you think that this church can continue to work in rescuing souls? If the answer is no, then we can close our door tomorrow. If the answer is yes, we must be ready to sacrifice. And we must be ready to go through hardship. For what? It is to perform our duty that God calls us to do. Two thousand years ago, at Christ's birth, it was to bring this world the good news for mankind. 
And yet, at this moment, there are still many, many millions of people out there that still do not know of this good news. Do we intend to keep this good news to ourselves and our family only? After our worship service, after our dinner, we go home and you know we forgot about it. Christmas is done. Is that all we want? Or do we want more than that? This is what I challenge each one of you to ask yourself. Tell it to God. Let us pray. Dear Father God, we thank you. This is a time when we should have so much joy. And yet at the same time, we ought to remember the responsibility that you have given to us. Which is to share the good news to other people. There are just so many people out there that are dying without knowing you. And yet we, your children, are not doing our responsibilities. Please help us. Forgive us for our faults. And help us to start again, Lord. I lift up my brothers and sisters to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all.